We all know that bilingual stuff is a lot of work, but if you make good use of tools, it can be done very quickly. You might have guessed that I'll use AI, but there are still some tricks that need to be mentioned in this video. To quickly grasp the main focus, simply jump to the summary at the end of this video. Then go back to the detailed workflow. Okay, let's go. I did it already last week. Now let me show you how my Python script translate long sub. That's how I overcome the 5000 character translation limits. First of all, let me show you a really long sub. I've put that long sub in my USB here. This file is called character 14,000 caption, something like that. Okay, as you can see, it's really long. This is a nine minute long video, just another English video. It has a total of 223 lines of sub. Okay, how do I know that there are 14,000 characters? Remember, it's just for checking purpose. My environment is called Nice Guy Scripts Activate. Enter the environment. Simply start a Python idle. Because we don't need to show much details. I mean, I don't need to write a full program for that. Now I use the path object of pathlib. And the file we just saw, I called it source file. Just name it source file. That source file is sitting in my USB, G drive, SRT underscore English. Inside that, what's the file called? Yep, it pops up automatically. It's called character something, 14,000 caption file. Let's say I call it text is a variable. I use the path object to return the source file. I'm just reading text here. Turn it into a string. OK. Since my text may contain Chinese, the encoding is then equal to UTF-8. If you get the type of this source text, it will return string. If you use the length function to hold this SRT text, you should see that there are 14,036 characters, which is over 5,000, right? If I don't use my Python script, it should return an error. Let's say deep translator, Google translator. There are many translators, something like Baidu, Libre, something like that. Doesn't matter. I just use Google translate. I don't want to type Google translator. So I just type GT. Now let me show you the 5000 word limit. Let's say result equals GT, which is my Google Translator. Source is set to auto. That means auto detect the language of your source text. But in your case, it can be other languages. Auto here, for example, translated into Japanese. JA, if I want it to be Chinese, ZHTW, then translate translate my source text, which is here, 14,000 characters. This line of code should give me an error. You see the error here? Because it says text length need to be between 0 and 5,000 characters. So I just wrote a Python script to deal with it. Just go back. This is my script, SRT translate. You see everything's here. This is very long, I won't go deep here. I will show you when I polish it a little bit later. But still, the function is working. This is my program. There are four areas in my program. In the first area, I can upload my SRT, my subtitle file. After the upload, the content goes to this preview area. Let me show you. My subtitle is sitting inside here. The one you just saw, 14,000 characters, something, is very long, right? All the way up to line 223, that's the subtitle number 223. Then there's a button called Translate. When you press it, 
it will translate the text into Chinese. After you click translate, you should see here the translated text goes all the way up to 223. Simply Ctrl C, copy that. Open a text file. It is just Google Translate. You can use other translators. Totally up to you. Save as an SRT. Just name it over 5000 SRT. Okay. I also made a Python script called Combine. Now there are three text areas. The first position is for the subs on top. The one for the button and combine subs. Okay. Let's say I want the English sub on top. So I look up for the subtitle file, the one we just saw, whatever character. This one, all the way up to 223. Okay. Then for the button sub, I'll put the translated Chinese sub. This one here. Click download here i just put it in my usb you see here it gets translated into english hi how are you something like that the english sub is on top chinese underneath that's what you see here now this is done copy it it's now turned into a bilingual sub Control shift s let's say name it as combine srt Okay, the key of making bilingual sub is resting on transcribing Cantonese in English. AI is doing a better job outputting English sub than outputting Cantonese sub. So usually, after the first edit, I make sure the voiceover is at the right position and generate the English subtitles based on it. Then turn the English subtitles into Chinese because it will be more accurate. But due to the 5000 character translation limit, I need to use the Python program you just saw to translate those long subtitles that are over 5000 characters. Of course, you can always edit the Chinese sub afterwards. If you don't mind someone copy your video with the Chinese and English sub, you're good to go. But usually, I'll use my other Python program to stack the English and Chinese sub and hot sub it to my video. And I won't upload the CC closed caption. If you include the CC closed caption, people can simply based on your caption, generate a video with AI voiceover and publish it under his or her own name. Of course, if someone wants to steal your video, there are always ways to do it. But if you hot sub it, it takes more time and effort for them to steal. That's basically it. Hope it helps. Ciao.